Okay, so as I mentioned in the last video, if it's uploaded uh, before this one, but maybe not, we uh, have done some modifications to the, the Ghost Drift S uh, cameras. And the problem is, the, the battery life as these get older really starts to suck, especially in the winter. Uh, during the winter I was lucky to get an hour out of these. So I had to come up with a, uh, another idea. And uh, what I've done is uh, set the camera to car DVR mode. And what happens there is the camera will automatically turn on and switch itself into recording mode as soon as a power source uh, is connected to it. Now what I've done on the rear is to purchase a second one of these and you will uh, no doubt, have, well actually you probably won't because I've talked about this uh, on my other YouTube channel. Um, so I've got a RAV power battery pack. Uh, this is the RP PB19 and we've got 16,000 milliamp hours uh, available and as soon as this is plugged in now and, and actually very strangely we've got two ports uh, 2.4 iSmart and 2.1 iSmart but when I plug this in it only works on one side so they're going to be able to do this one handed spin it around there. So I'll plug it into the left first. Yeah, and this is the side that works. So you notice the blue lights come on and then the green lights come on, charging, and as soon as it's done this wireless performance, actually let me spin around. So you can now see hopefully the symbol down at the bottom and let me zoom in because I can't get any closer because of the screen. So that's gone into record mode and now the screen's gone off but uh, you know it's recording still because of the red light flashing on the side and as soon as you unplug this it will carry on recording um, because I've got it set for five minute video clips this will carry on recording until the, that five minutes is up. So if I've recorded three minutes, it will carry on for another two. And that's it. Uh, these are about 25 quid, and that will actually allow me to record for days at a time. Um, so that just tucks into the back of the panniers uh, on a standard cable. Uh, you will find, and it's happened on this one, and the helmet cam actually, but if you keep plugging this USB connector in and out, eventually there will be intermittent contact uh, and the camera will turn itself off after, and when it reaches that five minute record time and, uh, and often it won't come back on again, but if, it's, if this wiggles around a bit and makes good contact again, it will come on again and it will record for another uh, five minutes. Um, even if the battery is fully charged, it doesn't matter, it's sent the external power is disconnected and will turn itself off. So it's something to bear in mind. The way to solve this issue is with a flat, very small flat bladed jeweler screwdriver is just to bend in the outer metal casing of the socket in the camera, not the plug, just the socket. Just put the screwdriver in and twist it slightly so it bends it up and in towards the sockets pins. That will make this quite a stiff uh, insertion and uh, that will be fine. If this ever fails again I will have to uh, take it apart, which I've already done, and uh, solder the wires directly to the circuit board. It is accessible, it's a bit fiddly, um, but it can be done. As you see that's still uh, recording. Five minutes is the maximum video clip, um, but that's uh, you know that's absolutely fine, and that will allow you to record for three, four days, possibly longer. It's got a handy battery checker. When it's full up, all the lights are lit. <coughs> You've also got the handy torch feature there. 
at a double press. So yeah, very pleased I've done that. No worries about this any recording for an hour or an hour and a half and swapping batteries. Only issue I've got on the helmet cam is I'm carrying this around in uh, a pocket and uh, we all know how volatile lithium ion batteries can be. <coughs> Excuse me if they're punctured. However, this is in a very hard plastic uh, case uh, so there shouldn't be any issues even in uh, some sort of uh, accident or incident. should be fairly uh, fairly safe.